did you know synthetic oils often have a much higher viscosity index than conventional oils? That means they stay consistent across hot and cold extremes, giving you more reliable protection. On the flip side, many people still trust Group 3 oils marketed as synthetic, even though they don't deliver the same stability. These details are rarely explained at the service counter, yet they directly impact whether your oil protects or quietly fails when conditions get extreme. In this video, we'll uncover why that difference matters and how it could be the key to your engine's long life. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and like the video. What if the most common advice for older engines is actually shortening their life? For years, many drivers have been told that once an engine racks up enough miles, the best way to keep it alive is to pour in thicker oil. It sounds comforting, like adding an extra layer of armor inside the engine. Mechanics repeat it, friends at the garage recommend it, and entire product lines exist to serve the idea that heavier oil is the cure for a worn powertrain. But beneath the surface, the very thing that looks like added protection can turn into the exact cause of early damage. The logic seems airtight at first. Thicker oil creates a denser film between moving parts, so in theory it should reduce friction and prevent metal-on-metal -metal contact. A high mileage engine has larger clearances, right? So a heavier grade of oil will supposedly fill those gaps and cushion the wear. It's the kind of explanation that makes sense the first time you hear it. And that's exactly why the myth has survived so long. But oil systems don't just work on thickness. They are designed around flow, distribution, and even temperature sensitivity. That's where the hidden problems begin. Picture a cold winter morning. You start up your car, the engine spins, and oil needs to reach the crankshaft, camshaft, and bearings within seconds. When the oil is thicker than recommended, its flow slows to a crawl. It's like trying to drink honey through a straw. It technically moves, but not fast enough to quench your thirst. In those first few seconds of operation, while clearances are tight and surfaces are dry, that delay means critical parts are starved of lubricant. By the time the oil film reaches them, microscopic damage has already begun. Engineers have studied viscosity resistance in oil passages, and they've found that rising viscosity creates a measurable increase in pressure drop. That pressure drop translates to slower circulation and delayed protection where it's needed most. Bearings, which rely on a fine balance of oil pressure and speed, are especially vulnerable. They can run dry just long enough to create knock or scuff marks that will echo for the rest of the engine's life. And here's another piece that most people miss. Film strength isn't dictated by viscosity alone. The viscosity index, often written as VI, plays a major role in determining how well that protective layer adapts across different operating temperatures. You can pour in the thickest oil you can find, but if it has a low VI rating, it might thin out drastically at high heat or become sluggish when cold. That mismatch sets the stage for a cycle of inefficiency and wear. Real world results make the danger hard to ignore. Owners report noisy startups, sluggish throttle response, unexpected leaks from seals straining under the added load, and a sharp dip in fuel economy. All of these symptoms trace back to one decision, choosing oil thickness over oil stability. The truth is simple, thicker oil isn't a shield. For many high mileage engines, it becomes a silent killer. So if that's not the secret to proper protection, what number truly separates oil that safeguards your engine from oil that betrays it? Imagine two bottles of oil sitting side by side on the same shelf. Both say 5W30. Both claim to protect your engine, and from the outside, they seem identical. But when the heat rises under your hood, one of them keeps its protective strength while the other thins out so much that the engine might as well be running unprotected. How can two oils with the same grade act so differently? The answer comes down to something most drivers have never even heard about, the viscosity index. Those grade labels like 5W30 or 10W40 are helpful but far from the complete picture. They tell you how the oil measures at specific temperature points in a lab, but engines don't live in a lab. Temperatures inside a cylinder head or around turbo bearings can swing wildly. The oil has to adapt not just to a single heat range, but to constant changes, from freezing cold starts in the morning to extended highway trips in blazing summer heat. That label alone doesn't reveal how well an oil can handle those fluctuations. Here's why that's a problem. Viscosity naturally shifts with temperature. When oil gets cold, Cold, it thickens. When it heats up, it thins. But some oils hold their consistency better than others. That's where the viscosity index, or VI, comes in. The six is a measure of just how much the thickness of an oil changes 
as temperatures climb and fall. A higher VI means more stability. A lower VI means dramatic changes. And that instability can be dangerous for your engine. Think of it like comparing water to maple syrup. Water freezes solid overnight, but boils away in minutes on a hot stove. Maple syrup, on the other hand, changes much less across the same range of temperatures. Oil works the same way. An oil with a higher V, I acts more like syrup. It remains predictable and protective whether conditions are icy or scorching. One with a low V, I behaves more like water. Too thick to flow when cold, and too thin to protect when hot. This is where synthetic oils often shine. Proper synthetics are engineered with more uniform molecules, giving them a naturally higher VI. That means they don't stiffen up excessively in freezing weather and don't collapse into a watery film when temperatures spike. Drivers in both Arctic conditions and desert climates rely on this consistency, and it's the reason true synthetics hold up better in demanding engines like turbos and direct injection setups that punish oils with heat and stress. But here's the catch. Not every synthetic oil on the shelf has those high VI properties. Many are what's known as Group 3 base oils, which are refined versions of conventional oil. By industry standards, they're labeled as synthetic, but their performance isn't on the same level as Group 4 or Group 5 oils that deliver genuinely high stability. So two bottles with synthetic in bold letters can behave very differently under the strain of real driving. That's the eye-opener most buyers never learn. So the actual protection isn't guaranteed by the grade stamped on the front of the bottle. It's hidden in the viscosity index number, the one detail almost never mentioned at the counter. And while that number tells you how well an oil adapts to changing conditions, there's still another problem lurking that no viscosity chart can warn you about, an enemy that quietly wears down oil from the inside. Did you know your oil can lose its protective qualities without ever changing color on the dipstick? Many drivers believe a quick glance at that shiny drop tells the whole story, but the real dangers of oil breakdown don't show up to the naked eye. Oil can look perfectly clean while its chemistry is already compromised, leaving your engine exposed long before the next scheduled change. Heat, high pressure, and contamination are working quietly against the protective film inside your motor every time it runs. Engines don't make things easy for lubricants. Under normal operation, oil is constantly exposed to intense heat cycles, from cold starts in the morning to peak temperature during long commutes or hard driving. Add in combustion byproducts and microscopic metal particles from wear, and you have a mixture under constant attack. One overlooked problem is what's known as mechanical shear. Picture your crankshaft and camshaft spinning thousands of times per minute. That rapid movement literally tears large oil molecules into smaller chains. Once their structure breaks apart, the oil becomes thinner at operation operating temperature just when the engine needs consistent film strength most. High performance and turbocharged engines highlight this weakness dramatically. A turbocharger spins at speeds exceeding 150,000 RPM, creating heat comparable to a blowtorch right at the oil film. If the oil has poor shear stability or lacks proper additives, it can't maintain a stable layer. Instead, it bakes onto the surfaces, turning into carbon deposits that clog tiny oil passages. From there, it's only a matter of time before bearings run dry, leading to costly failures that drivers often blame on the hardware, not the weakened oil. Another factor lies in how oil responds to extreme temperatures. Two key measurements often overlooked are the pore point and high temperature thinning behavior. If an oil's pore point is inadequate, it can solidify like wax during freezing nights, choking off supply at startup. At the other extreme, low quality oils lose viscosity too quickly in hot conditions, leaving the engine with protection barely thicker than water. It's that combination of risks, hardening and cold, thinning under heat that puts engines in danger when we trust oils without understanding their stability. Oil doesn't just wear out, it transforms under pressure and heat. What started as a protector gradually shifts into a hazard if its specifications aren't trusted. Now that you know the hidden battles going on inside your engine, it's time to look at why the myth's mechanics repeat can quietly turn into costly mistakes for drivers who don't question them. The biggest oil viscosity myth is thinking the number on the bottle tells the full story. Real protection comes from choosing not only the right grade, but also checking that the oil meets certified standards and hold stability under stress. The label alone won't save your engine if the oil can't resist heat, shear, or breakdown when it matters. Before your next fill, check your owner's manual. Compare the oil you use against proper certifications and its viscosity index. Misunderstood viscosity doesn't just cause performance. It decides whether your engine quietly thrives for years or slowly destroys itself. 